just as you are requested to explain my story. And then uh, just to talk about my purpose. My purpose means uh, uh, Buddhism, to propagate the Buddhism, how to propagate the Buddhism. According to you are such as I must say. My name is Shin uh, Yanisra. A shin means reverend or venerable. Nyanisra. This is a name, a Buddhist name. In all of our the Buddhist country, we use Buddhist language. Buddhist language means uh, 2,500 years ago in India, not eastern part of India. Magadha State use this language. Now it did this Magadha State change to another name, Bihar State. So this language is very important in Buddhism because at the time of Lord Buddha, when he taught his teaching, he used this language. Through the 2,500 years of journey of the Buddhism, all of our Tirawara monks maintain in this language, especially Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Sri Lanka. In those countries, we maintain Prisa Buddhist teaching. Therefore, this language is very important. My name is Nyanesra. A shem is a prefix word, like a reverend or venerable. Nyana and wisdom, two words are combined. Jnana means a wisdom. Ishra or Itra or Isra. Different pronunciation, same meaning, wisdom. Therefore, you can call me Dota, wisdom. Ishra means the king. Dota, wisdom king. <laughs> this is my name. I was born in Myanmar. Former name, Obama. New name, Myanmar. 1937. So now, I am 69 years young. No. I study my English in the countryside monastery of our country, Myanmar. At the age of 15, I ordained as a novice, lower ordination. At the age of 20, I received a higher ordination to become monk. In my countryside monastery, under the guidance of a countryside abbot, I studied, visit Buddhist education, Buddhist scripture before my higher ordination. After receiving of a higher ordination, becoming of the monk, 
I study my higher Buddhist education in Yango, capital of Myanmar, Mandalay, second largest city in Myanmar. Almost 10 years. And then I went to Buddhist University in Yango. I think around 32 years all over my age. I went to the forest, very deep forest, very far from the village. Practice of meditation. I live in this forest alone for five years. Meditation. After meditation and seclusion, I went out to the forest and teaching, 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 preaching every day from village to village, from town to town in Myanmar. I started my foreign mission since 1981. I travel only the Asia, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Malaysia. 1982, I went to United Kingdom. I stay in Birmingham, West Midland of the UK, almost one year. I study my higher English there. End of 1982, I came to United States. This is my first traveling to USA. I stay in Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee is very famous at country music. On the other hand, I think Nashville is a center of a Roman Catholic mission. And study a Christian, Roman Catholic, and English, and comparative study or religion in Bandabi University. And then I start, I'm traveling, 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 traveling almost every year throughout the world. Now it is, I think, I have a travel over 40 countries throughout the world. In 1992, we started to organize Tirawara uh, Missionary Association, Tirawara Buddhist Association in Austin, Texas. We have a register in 1994. We purchased this land in 1996. This is a Tirago Buddhist Vihara founded by myself founded by our Tirawara Dhamma Society. Now many Tirawara Buddhist people are living in this city, very few. But I like this city, Austin, capital of Texas State, because the weather is very warm, like Burma. Not necessary to use much dress in the winter. Very low cost. 
Therefore, I choose this place. For my health also, it is very proper, this weather. Very suitable, very comfortable, I like very much. When I see the overhead scene of this Austin, look like my place, Sakai Hill. Everywhere hill and the mountain, river, Colorado River. When I see this river, I am so happy because in Burma, Myanmar, my monastery on the bank of river Iyawadi. Iyawadi is the longest river in our country, longest and biggest river in our country. In my place, now it did almost 1,000 monastery and nunneries. Over 10,000 monks and nuns and novices are dwelling. I established water supply system, water donating system. I donated at least 500,000 gallons per day for those monks, nuns and novices for 25 years. My water resources, this river, Iyawari. And then I establish hospital, charitable hospital for those monks and nuns and novices. And then I establish International Buddhist Academy. In this academy, I am teaching Tibetan uh, in English for Myanmar, Tirawara monks especially. As a training for Buddhist mission throughout the world. I am a teacher every day. On the other hand, I accept foreign students also. Sometimes I accepted foreign scholar. For example, someone from United States, University of Michigan, University of California, University of Harvard, they are learning Theravada Buddhism in their university in the Department of Religious Study or Buddhist study or Asian study. They finish their master in their university, but they want to write thesis for their PhD. Therefore, they go to the Myanmar, search for the teacher and guidance or supervisor. Therefore, many students from United States come to my academy and study Tiravara Buddhism, Satipatthana, or Vipassana, or Abhidhamma, or I supervise give the guidance, the road of thesis. Some American students finish their PhD wrote to their thesis in my academy. So this is my work for the propagation of Buddhist teaching in brief. For this project, water supply project, hospital, 100 better hospital, Buddhist Academy, this uh, Thirigo Buddhist Bihara, Austin, Texas, for this project. All of our expenses are depend on only donation. 
Myanmar people, Myanmar devotees are very wonderful people. If they have a chance to listen and to practice Buddha's teaching, they are ready to donate for the Buddha sasana or Buddha's teaching. So this monastery depend on donation in Myanmar, my three very big three projects also depend on donation. So what is the purpose of my this mission, this mission, this work? In the very beginning, I told you the river, Colorado, always bring in the water. Along the riverside, many people use this water. I would like to say, river, work, welfare for living creature or living being supporting it is water. The cow also always given their milk supporting the people but they eat only the grass. The ox also given the rice, food, uh, to the people. I mean, it is an Asian tradition. In the United States, all of farmers are working in their farm with a machine. In Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, when these farmers are plucked at their farm, they use only the ox. So what I mean? Buddha said, <clears throat> Lokatacharya, striving welfare for all, without expecting any advantages for oneself, like a cow, like a house, like a river, like a tree. Tree also given always a fruit, fruit, a leaf, and a flower. They never expected for their advantages. So it is very important to educate the people. Now a day in the war, most people, uneducated people, unlearned people, they are very selfish. Because of this selfishness spirit, fighting each other. If, for example, if I have a real and so selfishness spirit, I do not want to share whatever I have, how much I have, I do not want to share. Whatever I get money, this is my possession, this is my own. Keep, keep this possession. Never share with other people. The selfishness spirit around me, other people's looking at me. Banu Vindanesa is so stingy. So selfishness in their heart, they feel unhappiness. They cannot joy in their mind because of my selfishness. This is the source of fighting each other in the one today. 
So we need to educate the people, whatever you have, whatever you get, according to your effort, according to your wisdom. If you possess some amount of materiality, you should share, we should share with others. In Buddhism, it is called donation. In the world, most of people are very unlucky. They don't have enough money. They don't have enough shelter. They don't have enough clothes or food, medicine, education. In the world today, there are two kinds of poor. Materially, we should share. For example, now Louisiana, oh, over, over so millions of people, so very poor, they don't have water, medicine, food, clothes, everything lost. Around the world, many people should share their possession with these poor people. Because of physical poverty, sometimes mental also become poor. Mentally poor and physical poor, these two poor in the world today. Most important, most dangerous of poor is mental poor. I don't want to share my possession with the other. This is mental poor. At that time, other poor people feel in their mind. How do they feel? Jealous. He is a rich man. She is a rich man. His house, bigger than me. His car, better than me. Better than my car. His house, Oh, bigger than my house. His face appearing more beautiful than my face, etc. They do not, they cannot enjoy others better. This is also one kind of mental poor. Lower people, poor people, feel in their heart jealousy. Rich people feel their heart stingy. Jealousy is stingy. This is the evil of the war. Fighting each other. This evil motivated to be devil. Devil walking throughout the war, conflicts, fighting, killing, terrorism. So terrorism, so fighting, killings, these sufferings are the work of devil. Behind the devil we should look driving force which are stingy and jealousy. So we need to replace in the place of a stingy with generosity. We need to replace in the place of jealousy with joyful happiness.
of the joy. So, what is the purpose of your mission? My mission wants to educate the people. This is a universal education. If it's someone going to say, oh, this is a Buddhist education, this is a not only for the Buddhists, jealousy, stingy, generosity, and joyful happiness. Appreciate the joy. We must appreciate your education. You are doubt doubter of philosophy, doubt of philosophy, professor of Tennessee State University, professor of Texas University. I am the doubter of Tirawara Buddhist University, etc. We must appreciate each other to feel the joint full happiness. We must forget level stick upper level of our human life. Uh, he is a white white man, she is a white lady she is a black lady, white or black, or it is nothing. Purity of heart it is very important. We should look into the deep level of the heart. What qualities are latent in her heart or his heart? We must understand. Global understanding is very important. Jealousy and stingy, these are the cause of fighting each other. If we cannot appreciate, if we cannot enjoy others a high standard, we're going to do the competition Competition is a starting point of fighting. Because of a competition, they want to fight, going to fight. If someone wants to fight each other, they're going to produce the weapon. First World War, Second World War. Why in this world? Rises. What were the source of this war? All of us scholars should research. From the Buddhist philosophical standpoint, I can say any war, any fighting, any battle in the United States lasts uh, uh, over hundred years ago, any people fighting on this land. Some are coming from the Spain, some coming from the France, some coming from the Belgium or Germany or England or Dutch or on this land they are fighting each other. Why do they fight each other? This land is my possession. This mountain is my possession because there is a gold mine. This is a, this land, this state is my possession because of stingy and greedy. Stingy and greedy are associated. Jealousy and hatred are associated. These are evil spirit in the Buddhist philosophy. I want to repeat again. Stingy, 
ม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่เล่นไม่เอสตี้ดิสสเตนจี้และกรีดี้ because of greedy s t i n g y a r i s e s because of s t i n g y greedy a r i s e s these two mental state are associated on the other hand jealousy and hatred because of jealous hatred and anger rises killing fighting battling these mental states are called evil Because of this evil of fighting, killing, terrorism, spread throughout the world. So, po, jumbo, or not po, po, jumbo, not jumbo, po, the present po, and Rome, after the 7th July this year, London Bo, after the London Bo man, he said, These terrorism are the work of the devil. That is true. I want to say, these terrorism, some fighting, some killing, some battles, are the manifestations of evil. So we need to educate the people. Not to do any evil. What are the evil? They must understand. To do all good. What is good? Why it is good? They must understand. You see, even the animal, ox, cow, they walk. Well, if you are for mankind, the cow always producing the meat for the people. The ox also producing the food for the people. So we must change. We must combat this situation according to the Buddhist standpoint. Combustion, different from other. According to the Buddhist standpoint, combustion means changing from jealous to joy. From jealousy to appreciate a joy. This is a Buddhist compassion. We need to combat this war in this way. We need to combat from the stingy, greedy to generosity. Sharing our possession with other. This is the meaning of a Buddhist compassion. But most people very ignore this philosophy. So ignorance is a original source of all kind of evil. All evils are firmly rooted in this ignorance. Not to do any evil, Jesus taught. Not to do any evil, to do all good, Muhammad also taught. This message is very good. Not to do any evil, to do all good. Not to think any evil, to thank God. Not to speak any evil, to speak God. 
They touch our Gorama Buddha also. Deliver this message. Two thoughts in the friend a year cycle. Buddha, almost a six hundred years earlier than the Jesus. Over one thousand one hundred years earlier than the Muhammad. Not to do any evil, to do all God. Not to speak any evil, to speak God. Not to think any evil, to thank God. Said by the Buddha. This is a universal teaching. Never organize the people to come back from their own religion to become Buddhist disciples. Real compassion from ignorance to wisdom, from jealousy to appreciated joy, from stingy, greedy to generosity, donation, charity, from anger, hatred to loving kindness, from killing, cruelty to compassion, from jealousy to appreciated joy. This is a Buddhist compassion. But most people, not to do any evil, they don't know what is evil. To do all good, they don't know what is good. Not to speak any evil. Not to speak, not to thank any evil. They don't know how to do rightly, how to speak rightly, how to think rightly. Very few people understand this teaching, this message. So sometimes I wanted to, sometimes in some conference, multi faith conference, Buddhist conference, uh, religious conference, conference for the social work, many conference I attended. Sometimes I suggested in those contracts. We need to re-establish the education infrastructure of the whole world. Since 19 Uh, 14, I think so. Yes, 19, 14 or 19, 13, 19, 13, 14, 15 in those days. Thirteen century. Uh, 14th century, 15th century, in those years, around this year, AD. Most of scholars said, these are renaissance, science and technology arises well advanced. And what year do you remember? What century? Thirteen. Renaissance, the fifteen hundreds of the Renaissance, the Enlightenment comes just after that, the sixteen hundreds. Yeah. Fifteenth century mm -hmm. AD. Eh? Yeah. 
15th century, yes, 15th century AD, around this year. Right, 16th, so, 16th century would have been the 1500s, yeah. and then the 17th century in the 1600s. So the Renaissance and the 16th century Enlightenment was 17th century. Yeah, yes, in those years it is called Renaissance. Mm -hmm. Science and technologies uh, rises and advance uh, very well. Mm -hmm. This is called Renaissance. Because of these uh, science and uh, technologies uh, advancing, 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 spiritual, moral, education, uh, down and down and down. The two educations are not balanced. Modern education and moral education cannot be balanced. This is a big problem for the young generation of the world. Now it is most students, they don't believe the religion. 1982, when I was a United Kingdom, I stayed in a village. All than St. Lawrence, near the hospital, in the township of Redden, out of London. In this village, I stay three months in a house. The house owner is an English lady. Over 70 years old, very fierce devoted Buddhist. She invited me to stay in her house. She always served breakfast, lunch, etc., everything. After breakfast, I walk around in this village. I like very much the countryside village, all than St. Dorian. In the middle of this village, very big old church, very old. The building stands like a Roman, Roman castle. And Saturday, Sunday, around nine o'clock, the clergyman always ringing the bell. Dun, 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 This bed is a very long ring, and sometimes almost 30 minutes. I'm walking along this village, around this church, looking at this church. Uh, around the 10 o'clock, 9.30 at 10 o'clock. Very old ladies and gentlemen, there are very few, not more than 25 or 30, slowly, slowly they come in into the church and sit in. This Christian monk stand by this people, start to teach. I enter into this church, sit behind the people, listening to his teaching, Bible. After two, three weeks, this Christian clergyman approached me, asked me, Hey, I think you are Buddhist. Yes, I am a Buddhist clergyman. From where are you coming? I came from Burma or Myanmar. Where are you uh, staying? I stay in your village. And somehow, etc., I explain. 
You are Buddhist, I am a Christian. I am a teaching, you are listening. What is a you are? Amen, object, listening, my teaching. He asked me. I explain. I laugh at Jesus. Why? I read the life story of the Jesus. Jesus studied the Tibetan Buddhism in the north, very far northern part of India in the Himalaya for many years. I believe in he attained supernatural power. When he go back to his home, in the history I read, the country of Bibilo was a drought. So uh, famine, no more food, because of for uh, six or seven years, no more rain. And the history said, because of jealousy of the God, because of anger of the God, anger punish, uh, God punish, this is a baby love country. So no rain. At the time, Jesus support the food, whole country. From only one bread. Very powerful Jesus. I read this story. Therefore, I like very much Jesus. He strive welfare for others. Out of compassion, out of loving kindness. This compassion and loving kindness our common platform to work on together. Buddha also emphasizedly taught loving kindness and compassion. But this compassion and loving kindness must be associated with wisdom. Sometimes love and compassion are very strong and very high without wisdom. Sometimes only the wisdom no compassion, no love and kindness. If we have only the wisdom, no compassion, no love and kindness, good, uh, hard hearted wise man. It is dangerous for the nation. Sometimes we have only the love and kindness and compassion, no wisdom. Go hard and blind. Buddha is a wonderful teacher. These two qualities must be balanced. Jesus had these two qualities and balanced his heart. So he support the food. Whole country. Why they are for mine. I love him. Therefore, I study about the Jesus. I want to listen about loving kindness and compassion taught by the Jesus. Therefore, I came to your church. I embrace me. Yeah, so happy. Okay, you ask me a question and give me answer. I want to ask you a one question. Yes, he promised. Okay. I every day walking in your village. Only the Saturday and Sunday. I saw in your church little function. Little people coming. On other day. Close all do. Quiet. Why? 
on Saturday, Sunday, people are coming. They are only the very over age people. Not the young people are not coming. He said, this a clergyman said, now a day in the West, young generations are struggling to be liberated from religion. Wonderful. So I feel so sad for young generation, not only for the Buddhists, but also for all country. They do not understand what does religion mean. Religion teaches to be subtle of the heart. They do not understand. They are following only the science and technology. When they are going down to the science and technology deeper and deeper, they are ready to give up the religion. So I would like to suggest we should try to re-establish education infrastructure all over the world. Modern education and moral education must be balanced. Because young generation do not understand what is a good, what is a evil. This is ignorance. Sometimes a United States, last, I think last 1998, I stay here almost one year. 98. I used to watch on television CNN almost every day. Now very important. I must watch on television. Because Rita Hurricanes coming to do the trouble. It was a sin by the God or devil or if I ask this question, who gave the correct answer? Okay, leave this question. On the news broadcast by CNN, in the Denver, capital of Colorado, some high school, school boy took out, took out the gun, shoot the student in the classes. On the spot, 24 students were dead. Policemen capture this student and investigate in periods away from the uh, psychological standpoint. Psychiatric doctor investigate. Mentally, it's very good. On the other standpoint, this young boy doesn't use the drink and drug. Investigate in various way. But he confessed it. This boy confessed it. In front of the policeman. Crime is way to fail. Wonderful answer. He want to become well known throughout the world. He want to become the famous throughout the world. Therefore, kill, killer become famous. And the CNN headline you also 
hourly announce the photo of this boy and gun. He's a saying, crime is a way to fail. Crime is a way to fail. Announcing. This student do not understand. Famous and notorious. Differentiate. What is the famous? What is the notorious? This young student doesn't understand. So if someone wants to solve the problems of the world, he must search for the true nature of the light. He must understand the true nature of the light. They do not understand what is the famous, what is the notorious. Because of a killing, he became the word well throughout the world. It is notorious. Young generation do not understand. So in the Buddha's teaching, right understanding is very important. Understand rightly. Understand the true nature. Understanding the truth. So if someone wants to solve the problems of the world, he must understand the truth. So what kind of education now it is? You know? Moral education, spiritual education, religious education. Nobody understand this educations are very helpful, very essential in this present war. They are following after the science and technology. Because of science and technology, nuclear weapon, hydrogen bomb, rocket, we are produced. Therefore, we have to establish the age of spiritual renaissance, establishing the, re-establishing the educational infrastructure, new educational infrastructure. In this educational infrastructure must be complete religious education, moral education, spiritual education so must be completed, must be balanced. So, behind the evil, we must analyze what is the source of evil. Greed, hatred, delusion. These are source of evil doing. These are source of evil speaking. These are source of evil thinking. What are the God? Behind the God, we must understand what is the source of good. What is the source of good deed, good speech, good thought. Generosity, generous spirit, non hatred, no anger. Actually, it is called loving kindness and compassion, wisdom, appreciated joy. These are the source of the good deed, good speech, good thought.
I am the Theravada Buddhist monk coming from Myanmar. Since 1992, we started our Theravada Buddhist mission in Austin, Texas. The purpose of our mission, I want to organize I want to encourage the people, not only for the Burmese, not only for the American, the people of the whole world. We are citizens of the world. To all, I want to deliver the Buddhist message. I want to organize, to establish Spiritual Renaissance, the age of spiritual renaissance. And then I want to convert the young generation from evil to God, from ignorance to enlightenment, from stingy to generosity, from hatred to love, loving kindness, pure love, without sensual desire, from cruelty to compassion, from jealousy to appreciated joy. This is real compassion for this Papa. I traveled throughout the world, I came to the United States, I established this, I founded this association and monastery. May the true teaching of all religious leader, all spiritual leader, spread throughout the world. May all of lead spiritual leader and religious leader walk together on a common platform, common highway. Come on, highway beings, loving kindness, compassion, appreciated joy, and wisdom. This is my answer for your request. Thank you very much.
Oui, I want to sleep. <laughs> where you were born, those kinds of things.
As we had said before, we'd like for you to, this is a... Your voice is very low. Yeah, well, I'm keeping it low because you are the center. So the purpose of Common Ground is to uh, bring you into the center to share your purpose and mission, uh, where you come from, where you're going, and your purpose and mission here in Austin, and uh, then anything else you would like to share uh, with a focus on sharing your story. That is your question. Yes, it's you get to just speak it. You start by, if you would um, say your name and your title and where you're from. Why don't we start?